Okay, so this video I'm doing a, a quick quick tips Friday. So um, just gonna have a look at a couple of things in sketching. So 2020, we've now got our planes. When we are choosing planes, I find one of my tips: have your planes here because even once you're hidden your planes later on, you can just click on a plane, you can do line on that plane, and you can use your view cube, the coordinate system, to see what plane you want clearly. When you're doing a line. So if I just start a line normally, if I press and hold the shift key, it's going to snap snap to 15 degree increments. So it's almost like you're kind of snapping to a grid um, by doing that. OK, be careful if you're linking to planes as well. So here you can see I've got a square in that corner, a square in that corner showing the endpoints are connected. Here I've got one where I've actually got a point on. So it's actually connected to the to the actual plane on there as well. So we can use pick quick pick to go on there, select that, and then use the delete key to go and remove that. That line is then no longer connected. One thing that's quite nice when you are drawing lines as well is mice that allows us to go and finish a line at an endpoint of a line. So that, that links to an endpoint. If I hover over that line and press M, that's going to finish it at the midpoint. If I've got if I've got a intersection, so if I hover over this line and press I, that's going to go and show the intersection that I can go to. And if I've got a circle, that will go and snap to the center point of the arc that I go and draw, um, go and hover over. Okay. Also, one of my favorites, when you're starting a line, either before or after you start to place it, press the S key to go and create a symmetric line. That could be really useful um, if you want to go and create a line going out of center like that. So really useful command, the S key. Keep an eye on the option on the bottom, loads of quick picks on there. And then a question that I saw um, somewhere was, how can I create like an array of lines? So here I've got a, a 50. Yes, we can do a pattern, but maybe I don't know exactly what size I need, so we can't use the pattern feature. So we could do this several different ways. So if I want just a straight array of lines at 20 mil options, I can choose the offset command at 20 mil, make sure I'm on single, and then choose that line. Sorry, let's just get rid of that. I didn't mean to quick click, quick click, click, quick pick. And it's just a matter of just left click and just and just click those as far as we want. So let's see if we do a nice linear one on there. We could possibly then go into our variable table and go and link all those together. So as you go and change the one, they're all going to change just with a easy copy equals equals that one, then just paste it into all the all the other values on there. The other way is we can use our move copy. So say I want I want an array, almost like a chessboard instead of these lines, at different options. Yes, again, we could use the pattern. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, let's have a go with the move. Let's have a go with copy. So say I want these to be 50 mil increments again. I'm using the step command now. So that's going to allow me to click on that line. And that's going to allow me to go and choose my start point. And that's going to allow me to go and create that in, in the places that I want. So that's step in to those 50 degree increments. If I do make a mistake, I could just go and remove that one later on. So that one, that one, escape out of there. Let's delete that one and that one. And that one, looks as I've done something a little bit wrong here. So uh, let's get rid of those and go and start again and just go from that one. Um, our step value will be remembered in here. So you can see the previous step values I've done. Choose our start point and then carry on and get that as we want that. And then let's get rid of that one. And we've then got our array lines. If we've got a classic license or above, or foundation license or above, we're going to have this relationship assistant. So if I don't want to constrain those, choose the elements, choose a horizontal, uh, sorry, except choose a horizontal dimension element. So that's going to be a vertical element because that's going to be uh, for all of our horizontal elements. And then our vertical ones are going to go there, and that's then going to go and fully constrain them. Might not do them exactly the same that we did, um, same way we, we might do them, but you can see that's gone and created all those. We may want to delete those and do some horizontal and verticals instead. Um, and then other little things that I find quite useful is uh, we've got layers. So um, quite often it's nice. Um, I tend to create layers called either auto hide, hide or hidden or something on those lines. So once you create your new layer, double click on default to go back to default, right click on hidden and go and hide that layer. Then I'm going to use smart select and I'm going to go and move all these dimensions. So I'm going to click on elements, click OK. 
that's going to highlight all those go back to layers choose this fourth icon on the top move move them to the hidden option click ok and then escape out i know it's hidden all our relationships so we can have our sketches um, but not have all of that information on there the layers is per the document not per sketch so if you go and put other elements from other sketches in that layer they're also not going to appear okay that's today's um, tips hopefully you found that useful thank you